Hi, I'm Tamara Thomas. And I'm Jackie Shrigley. And this is Urban Health Weekly, where we talk about urban health. So what's going on with you? How, how have you been? I haven't seen you in ages. Well, school's out. So we've been doing, uh, we went to the community pool. There's been a little swim team, a little lessons, oh. you know, that kind of stuff. A little walking around town with the dog. We've been enjoying it already. We like it. We like a little summer action. Yeah, we, we, finished, um, we finished school early as well. And so we've been going a lot to the playground and uh, uh, I'm teaching her handball. So we're- <gasps> Handball, oh my God. Yeah, so we go really early in the morning. We walk around the track and then I teach her some handball. Yeah, I'm trying to get you her- the special ball. mitt? You mean um, just no, like- she's, she's too little for, for a special mitt. Right now, what we're doing is throwing the ball against the wall and then, you know, bouncing. So she's got to learn the hand-eye coordination of catching the ball. And that then- such that, a fun game. It really is. So fun. Yeah, and it's it gets you, you and by the time like you know, and then she we go to the playground, and then by the time that's all finished, she's exhausted, which is uh, uh, tired kid is perfect. Like, exactly. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Um so let's jump into it with the medical news of the week. So, first thing up. HIPAA and COVID vaccination, public safety versus right to privacy. So the big question is, can an employer ask about their COVID vaccine status? I feel like they should be able to, it's an employee. And uh, I know from when I worked at the hospital, we had to, we had to be vaccinated. Now, granted, we're, you know, there's patients involved, but this is a public health issue. So I really feel like you have to be able to be, you know, your employer has to know about what your status is. Um, that's my, that's my feeling that the employer has a right to know it's not a right to privacy. It's a right of, uh, it's a public health issue. And you you have the right to not get vaccinated, but I feel like the employer has the right to say, my employees are vaccinated, especially if you're dealing with the public. It's just got to be an issue. Your thoughts? Well, um, according to uh, employment uh, attorneys, it is not a violation of federal law for an employer to ask an employee about their vaccination status. HIPAA in no way prohibits business owners and other individuals from asking people if they've been vaccinated. Um, so do you have I, to show ID? Do you have to show that you've been vaccinated? Do you think well, that's, that's another, I don't know if that's covered. Um, I, okay. So much fraud going on. That's a, that's an excellent point. Now with wow. so much fraud going on, you know, with, with the, the little CDC cards and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if everyone has adopted, um, we have in New York, tell me if you have it in New Jersey, we have something called Excelsior, which is basically oh. it's an app. And it's basically pulled from the state database. Uh, oh. So you put in your information and you know, once you're, and it doesn't work until you're fully vaccinated. Cause I tried okay. it after my first shot and it wouldn't allow me to pull in any information. Said, so sorry, we got nothing for you. And then, um, after two weeks after my second shot, I was able to, you know, are you telling me this is an app? Like it's you can have app. it on your phone. Yeah. We don't have that here. It's you a, know, we have really, a car. It's an app you put on your phone and it shows your vaccine status. It shows that you're vaccinated. It also shows, cause some people will take like, okay, I, you've had the test. It also will, will, um, if you went to like a, a city or state run testing center, it'll get okay. that data as well and have that. Now, if you go to a private, you know, uh, lab, then maybe not. But, you know, there are many that do participate, but in general, if you go to a city or state um, place and you tested negative, that information will come up as well. Wow, so do you, how did you learn about that app? Is that just public knowledge? Do they tell you about that when you get vaccinated? Um, I was reading about it. Um, you okay. know, I get I get uh, emails from Cuomo, 
you know, from the, the governor. And I, know. Like, it's, I know. <laughs> well, my, my on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, it was like, you know, introducing Excelsior and, you know, they had like click here to download it and all that. So oh, I was like, maybe oh, they do have it in New Jersey, but I just don't know about you know what? it. Go maybe. to the state site and see if they okay. have something like that. I can't imagine New Jersey not having something like that, especially with people uh, being able to get a hold of the little cards and, and giving people fake vaccination information and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. So I think, and I'm always offering everywhere I go. I'm like, by the way, do you want to see my Excelsior pass? And they're like, oh. we'll take your word for it. We'll take your, which makes me a little nervous because it's like, are you taking How it? How many people are taking your word for it? That's the thing. I, you know, a lot of, a lot of people are just like, if you say you're vaccinated, you're vaccinated. I, you know what I think though? I think there's a lot of, um, I think there's a lot of, you know, people are just tired. They don't feel like getting into a fight. People, you know, and customers have just gotten so unruly uh, about this whole oh, thing. I feel so sorry for all those people who have to deal with the public. I mean, they yeah. didn't get into, they're not working security. They're just, you know, they're working retail. They didn't sign up for that. I don't think that's reasonable. Goodness. Yeah. yeah. And they still have to wear their masks anyway. So right. I think at the end of the day, but, you know, I think that's what it is. I think a lot of people are just like, I just... I, I, you know, I can't, I don't have the energy, you know, people are getting beat up all the time. People are getting berated and, and, and having, you know, called out their name. And I think people are just like, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. You know, I care about my, my health and safety, which is why they're probably having such a hard time, um, you know, keeping and employing people in the service uh, sector. But, you know, I think people are just, they just don't want the, they don't, it's not worth the trouble. It's, it's not worth yeah. you ruining your day or, you know, you end up right. at the six o'clock news or something crazy like that. But people, you can be asked. It's up to you, you know, not to to want to vaccinate, but be on the lookout that it is well within your employers or even your friends' right to <laughs> ask you about your <laughs> <laughs> the only The only way you're protected is like if, if your doctor you know, uh, says, uh, that damn Susie, you know, she just refuses to get that. That's Susie Horton. She just refuses to get the, the vaccination. And he's like, oh, your doctor cannot yes. report to right. your employer or okay. Very right. Good. They can't, they can't, they can't, they can't even talk about it over, you know, to the, to their fellow doctors over, you know, coffee break or something like that. It's just, you know, so that's it. But other than that, it's, it's fair game. All right. Next up, vaccine class gap. Hmm. The news is basically saying there was an article in the New York Times that talked about um, that what they're seeing is that people who are higher income educated people are getting the vaccination and lower income, um, less educated people are not getting the vaccine. I haven't found that to really be the case though. What, what, what have you seen on the ground? Well, it seems to be over where I live. Um, it, there does seem to be a certain amount of playing out where uh, people who've got like a college degree or whatever, you do get that feeling that they're more likely to be vaccinated. But I do know some people who, you know, I know a couple of professors who didn't vaccinate their kids, but they already are they're already not vaccinating. So oh, they're anti-vaxxers. Okay. They're yeah. To begin with, I mean, there's some medical issues, so they probably have some medical reasons for it. So they're consistent. I'm not really seeing, but I just feel like people who are anti COVID vaccine are really a mixed bag. You can't necessarily predict who's just suddenly you hear things coming out of people's mouths and you just didn't have any, you had no clue that that was what, what they would be thinking that that you just can't predict who is mm -hmm. going to be anti this vaccine and i know some people worry that the vaccine came out soon that's what right. i heard a lot that they worried that it came out a little too fast um they're okay with it. they're cherry picking which vaccines they're okay with that's not the well, same that's as interesting. so that's not really the same thing as not wanting to be vaccinated at all correct really like, 
Just which yes. one is not going to harm me? Let me see what right. data bears out over time. The people you I know do know, yeah. yeah. The people yeah. I do know who are, you know, college professors, they are all vaccines, not so right from the get-go. They had uh, some medical difficulty with one of their kids when he was really little. And so then they stopped all vaccines after that. But that was like years ago. So they're consistent. And then there's some other people that I just thought, you know, I don't know what their college education is, but, you know, a couple of play dates where, oh, we're not vaccinated. We won't be getting vaccinated. I was like, okay, you know, but wow, I didn't. Uh, but they just laid their cards on the table like that and just well, said because it. I laid my cards on the table. I said, we've had our second vaccine and Calvin's only had his first vaccine, you know, at that time. And, and uh, that mom was like, well, we're not, we're not vaccinated. Um, she didn't specify why, but we were having an outdoor play date. So I didn't make a fuss mm -hmm. about it, you know? Mm -hmm. and, okay. Uh, That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. So my experience from what I've seen and heard rather, is okay. I've seen, you know, very educated, high-income people saying that um, I don't need it. I'm healthy, and I, I, you know, my that's so shocking to me. My, my health, my healthy juices, and and my healthy diet will protect my me. fantastic <laughs> intake of vitamin D will cover all illnesses. My uh, my acai berry smoothies will protect me <laughs> from. <laughs> No lie, my acai juice. My clean protect living. <laughs> will right. protect me from, from you, exactly, my clean living will protect me. And then, you know, I, I have, you know, friends that are, you know, not college educated uh, and saying, no way. I, oh, absolutely. Uh -huh. shot. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not playing around. I, I, got, I, I got vaccinated. So it's such a mixed bag. So I really am not sure how the New York Times came up with that, with that data you know, um, or if that's even, if that's even local information, I don't know, time will tell, but it, you know, it, it feels to me like, and tell me if you, if you know what you think about this, it feels to me like there's a certain segment of the population who are not anti-vax. You're always going to have the anti-vaxxers, right? Like that's right. right. But there's a certain population uh, segment that if it were easier to do, they just do it. Ah. But part of the, the, what I saw here is that people just got so fed up. The rollout here in New York was just so terrible that people just people just got burnt out. I think between the whole you know talk and the whole um, having to isolate and and social distancing and, and mask wearing and all of that stuff and everything being closed. And then the rollout was just so prohibitive. It was just so oh, It was so yeah. hard to only get the vaccine most, weeks ago. Oh, right. That only the most savvy, determined Hustling. Um, people with free <laughs> time, right, would, you know, would be able to get their hands on it. Because like, you know, I tried, I tried for weeks. And yes. you know, the, the system was so cumbersome that by the time you, you found it, so you find a date. Then it's like, uh, uh you got to put your information in. By the time you put in all your information, <laughs> you, you, missed, back, you missed your chance. The, 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 it's gone. The date is now gone, and you have to start the process all over again. And only a certain type of person would be able to, or have their assistant do that for them over and over. I mean, you're talking. They boom. had a lot of time on their hands to be able to do it. That's right, you have to have a lot of free time structure into your life. And if you're like a regular, you know, uh, per nine to five person, then you don't really have time to sit on your phone or sit on your computer and do that right. over and over and refresh the browser over and over. And that's if, you, and that's if you have a good internet to begin with. And you know? a desk job, because, you know, if you're working with your hands, you're not going to be. Uh... Right. And so I think a lot of people just got burnt out. And so I think that if, if it, was just so simple and so easy. People would just like, you know, just do it. I, I think if they rolled it out- But isn't that changing here, now? Like um, now, our municipal is giving it. Oh, ah. Right. You know I mean? it's our the market right. is saturated. Those who were going to get their vaccines um, already got their vaccines by now. They killed themselves to get it. It was really hard. 
Um, and now that it's becoming easier, people who yeah, aren't- it's, it's like, you know, it's, it, it's, all, it's already, it's in the, the rear view mirror, you know? It's like, had people been able to go to the pharmacies and get this from the beginning, you know, like a lot of old people got left out because they're used to, like my dad and his wife weren't able, they, you know, when they finally made up their mind and saw that, okay, this is not killing anyone. Great, great. Okay. They, they, they drove to a pharmacy because that's what older people are used to. They used to going to the pharmacy, filling out the form with just like your flu shot. Right. They, they you know, unfortunately screwed the push with that. And so there's just so much misinformation now that I think people just, been turned off. So I think if they offer it everywhere, like I'm starting to see these little vaccination pop-ups, you know, Oh, you know, I think, I think if it's, if you I could wish just they had, had vaccination pop-ups four weeks ago. Yeah. Well, they, well, they were able to do that now because of the, the J and J vaccine, you see, okay. because it's one shot, you get them and you, you know, you don't have to worry about them coming back in three weeks or four weeks. It's like you give them the one shot and it's done. But, okay. Yeah, that's what I think it is. I don't think it's necessarily educated, not educated. You know, I think people are just burnt out. And I think if you just made it so easy that they don't even have to think about it, that I think more people would do it. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's good to know. My parents, they had it uh, in their facility, but they're, you know, seniors and their facility, but, you know, they came to them. It was CBS that did it. They ah, sent mm -hmm. out their team to the facility mm -hmm. and um, they got their vaccine there. Oh, that's great. So they went to right. the center and did it. On, see, that's what I'm talking yes. about, making it easy for people. Yes. You know, and, and they haven't really done A lot that. of people, a lot of seniors, they're not mobile. They're not right. mobile. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah, that's the, and, and they're not going to be on their phones, click, click, clicking to make appointments. Yes. I mean, you know, people want to be able to pick up the phone. That was one thing that I liked about New Jersey is they realized that seniors were not um, doing the computer thing. Right. So they made a, a hotline that people could call and make an appointment. And I just don't understand why they didn't do that here in New York. Are you anyway, telling me in New York, it had to be, you had to be tech savvy to be? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. So a ton of people. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I think. I think that make it easy. And they will come. That's that's my thought on it. That sounds reasonable to me. 